Today we are in the beautiful Sin City of Las Vegas and we're going to be eating celebrity owned restaurants for 24 hours. But we're going to be eating at the cheap ones because y'all know we are broke. But in Vegas, the cheap ones are still expensive. What's up, y'all? It is day two in Las Vegas, and today we have a very fun video for you guys. Today we are going to be eating celebrity fast food restaurants only for 24 hours. And I do say fast food kind of lightly because obviously there's no drive throughs here on the Strip, but there are obviously fancy restaurants of celebrities. These that we're going to be going to are kind of like the fast food version. It's like a pickup window type. Yes, exactly. The more pickup style, the more like grab and go type of thing, only because I'm just keeping it real with you guys. I would love to do the challenge of like eating at celebrity restaurants for 24 hours but here in Vegas that would probably cost like I don't know for the two of us I would say maybe like $600 and I don't have that type of money so we were like you know what let's go ahead and do the fast food places so we're gonna be going to Buddy's we're gonna be going to Gordon Ramsay's and then also we're gonna be I, I'm debating between Wahlburgers or Bobby's I did say I don't I'm know. Wahlburgers. I'm going to convince them. Yes, we're going to go to Wahlburgers because we need to try something different. If you guys did not check out our previous videos before of Vegas, we've been to Bobby Flay's, which is his fast food restaurant here. It's Bobby's Burgers. I think it's all right. I love it. I th personally think it's delicious. I've never eaten at Wahlburgers, so I was like, let me do something different. Let's go ahead and go to Wahlburgers. We don't know yet. Obviously, you guys will see within this video which we do decide to go to, but we will be going to all of these places. So it's also early in the morning nate didn't give me no credit whatsoever okay because i was tipsy last night we went on a mission to go to the sphere if you guys have checked out that video then you guys would know it was a mission we did eleven thousand steps yesterday it was terrible very yeah. terrible and my knee there, hurts just to be turned off yeah it's just to be turned off mm -hmm. my knee hurts my back hurts everything hurts right now and it's 9 40 in the morning and i'm awake in vegas this is the earliest i've ever been awake in vegas literally the earliest so I'm ready to die, but you know what? I'm like, we're gonna go get some breakfast. We're gonna start off at Buddy V's Cafe because his breakfast does end at 11 a.m., which I do wanna say right off the bat, breakfast ending at 11 a.m.? Places in Vegas should go till one. Just literally, I told Nate that too. I was like, um, breakfast should go till one here because everybody is literally up till 6 a.m. Come on, don't do it till 11. Anyways, we gotta hurry up and go over there. So, we got a little hike. We gotta go to the link. Yes, we gotta go to the link, and we are currently at Planet Hollywood. So, we're gonna go on a mission right now, and hopefully, they got some good stuff over there. So, let's get to it. For a wrinkle. For a wrinkle. He's talking a lot of shit for a guy who doesn't remember last night. Just saying. What's so bad about that? First stop is Buddy V's, the Boss Cafe. This place is actually open all throughout the day, but breakfast does stop at 11. This is located at the link right off of the strip, but it is way in the back. You do have to walk past the casino and then it's back on the right hand side. They also have all types of cakes inside a cake vending machine, but this is not only located in the link. They do have these in several other hotels all throughout the strip. So we came back to the room because y'all, it literally is 11 a.m. and the strip is popping. It is so loud. They're playing music everywhere. So I was like, how are we gonna film this? So we walked back to the room. We do wanna note too, on the way out of Buddy's Cafe, there was a truck that is actually the same as Buddy's, but actually they do have more food. So it's called Jersey Eats. Jersey Eats. It's a truck. They have the same breakfast foods there. And it is, if you guys are staying um, at Planet Hollywood like we are, it's closer to go to that outside one because then you don't have to walk all the way to the back. They don't have the same breakfast. They just have, from what we saw, the breakfast they, sandwich. Yeah, they have one breakfast sandwich, but they got a bunch of other food items. We're, we we, we may go all. back there and try out the Alfredo fries because I love me some Alfredo fries. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into the food. So, Nate over here got the breakfast pizza from Buddy D's. That is loaded. It's actually kind of small because that was $9. Oh, uh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah, that little thing's $9. But it's pretty loaded, I would say. You got cheese, you got your eggs, and you got your bacon. Classic, classic little taste. It smells bomb, y'all. Take, a, don't, take, take a bite from not right there because I want to try this piece that don't have the. 
Okay, so the bacon on it because I do want to try that because honestly it does look pretty good. So how is it? Not gonna lie, it looks better than, than it, it tastes. tastes. Aww. It looks outstanding. It looks really and good. And it smells outstanding. But when you take a bite, it tastes a little plain. So Aww. I'm a little disappointed with that. I do like the bacon though. I love me some bacon. Also, I do want to say too, this whole food for one breakfast sandwich, one breakfast pizza, and two hash browns was $30. But obviously, you know, here in Vegas, even the fast food type stuff is still going to be expensive. I don't know if it's worth it though. Would I get this again? Probably not. Well, you better but apologize. I don't give it like a six and a half, seven. Uh, that's not so good. I'm gonna try a bite of Nate's pizza. Also, don't pay attention to this lighting, y'all. We are literally tucked away in the corner. There's like no sunlight, even though it's 11 a.m. It doesn't come around until like 3 p.m. I'm gonna try a piece of this because honestly, it does look really good. And I'm not saying that like food that normally looks good tastes good because, you know, often it doesn't, but this looks really good. But then again, I'm pretty hungry. So I'm gonna take a bite without the bacon. Let's see. It's like just all crust. Yeah, well, okay. Don't take my review of it because I didn't get like barely any cheese, any egg in there. It tastes like just bread, honestly. That's all you got was bread. Yeah. I'm gonna try the hash brown now. Hopefully this is good. They better be for $2.95. $2.95 for two hash browns. What's going on? The cheese on there is good though. I finally tasted the cheese. No. No. It's because they make fresh Plain, mozzarella. Not salty. This needs ketchup. <laughs> it is, it's really dry. I need to take a drink. That hash brown was so dry. I literally almost choked out. And speaking of dry, this is my sandwich right here. It just looks like a whole lot of bread. Like I need a little bit more filling. Y'all know that me and Nate love Egg Slut. If you guys are here in Vegas, go to Egg Slut. We are trying new places this time for the sake of the video. But celebrity. Really, celebrity, yes, for the sake of the video. But honestly, I would rather go to Egg Slut. This looks like a knockoff version of it. There's like no sauce in here. It's literally just egg and cheese. Like, you know what? Let me bust it open for you guys so that way you guys can see. That's that's just it. <laughs> it looks it looks really, it does smell good, but it looks so plain. Especially for the price, but I know we're in Vegas, so let me not complain. Very plain. Like Nate said, that's a six. This is a six. It's not bad. It doesn't taste bad. Like, I would eat it again if I was staying at the link, you know what I mean? And I wanted breakfast food. It just needs more flavor. Like, I would put some, like, sriracha mayo on here. Put a little more salt and pepper on the eggs. Like, something, you know what I mean? The bread's not bad either. It's just, I don't know. It just needs more flavor. It's lacking flavor, yeah. So I stick with a six out of 10 on this. So we stopped at the Cake Boss machine, which by the way, too, there at the Buddy's Cafe, they did sell these cakes that are in the package. But we were like, let's get one from the vending machine because it does. I don't think they have cooler. the black and white one. Oh yeah, actually there, I didn't see the black and white one. This is supposed to be a take on um, the black and white cookies. So it's white layer, chocolate layer, and then it does have the fudge and then white fudge on top, which I'm really excited about because I do love me a black and white cookie. If you guys ever go to New York, go to Zabar's right across the street from Central Park. Oh, best black and white cookies I've ever had in my entire life. Literally every time I go to New York, I'll bring back like, mm, I would say three dozen and I eat them all to myself. Literally don't share with nobody. But let's go ahead and taste this. I'm gonna be quite honest with you guys. I went to way back in the day when Buddy first opened up his shop in like New York and Manhattan. I went to his um, spot because oh he was supposed to be famous for his cannoli. Let me tell you, no, 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 no. It was horrible. And on top of that too, they had a B rating. I was like, Buddy needs to step his game up. Anyways, but let's try this cake. Um, my sister loves this cake. She gets it like every time she, she comes around. She loves the confetti cake. Confetti I think. One. or the rainbow one. I, I wanted to try confetti, but then I saw black and white, and I was like, ooh, let's get this. I'm gonna get a little mixture of everything right here. Oh shit, it's falling. Oh my god. Okay, that's pretty good. <laughs> By the way, this is $9. Pretty pricey because it's not that big. As you guys can see, that one bite that I just took is... What? I prefer to be nine bucks. No, yes, $9. Okay, actually, this is pretty pretty tasty. Um, I would say this is worth $8, $7. <laughs> <laughs> also, I do want to say too, I, ch I told Nate, I was like, I got to change the rating on my food because as soon as I got to the center of my sandwich, there was way more flavor in the center. And I was like, I'm gonna put my sandwich at an eight. As soon as I got to the center, I was like, that's pretty good. This cake though, nine out of 10. Like this is really, really good. 
I'm gonna have a really hard time right now sharing some with Nate. But I will give him some just for the video. But this is good. This chocolate icing in between. It's not chocolate fudge like it's supposed to be. But it is good. Flavor Town. Come on, go down to Flavor Town. The old Flavor Town. Did you get some of the chocolate icing in there? <laughs> is it? Oh, I can tell. This, this bitch is smiling. That means gonna try to eat it all. Uh uh. You better go Trip tell your mama wood. to buy you wood. All that shit. Hold on, and Nate was talking trash about his cake. He's like, uh, uh, uh. Don't even lie. Don't even lie. You literally was, were talking trash. I was, I was talking crap. That was about the confetti one that my sister got. I didn't like it. That that it right is. there. <laughs> I would get me another one of them. I give it a ten out of ten. It's, <laughs> it's outstanding, honestly. Yeah, it's I, it's good. And for being from a vending machine, it's pretty fresh. It comes out very cold too, which I like. I like cold cakes. I don't know if you guys like room. Oh, temperature I like room temperature cake. Yeah, it came out very cold, so. Outstanding. I'm lost for words. I'm gonna have to hit him with this camera so I can get my cake back because I already know he's gonna try to eat it all. He ain't getting a bag. Look at that. It's already almost gone. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That's lit it's literally one dollar per bite. Next stop is Wahlburgers, which is owned by the Wahlburger family. Most famous, I would say, is Mark Wahlberg. I do have to say I've never been to this place, even though there is one in Los Angeles, but my parents have, and they love it. Nate started off with some spicy cheese and bacon tots. I did try one of these without the bacon, and I thought it was pretty good, and it was only $9.95, which is not too bad for Las Vegas. And I got the Impossible Burger, which me and Nate actually shared. I do want to say, like, just looking at it, as you guys can tell by my face, I was like, oh, it looks so plain. I had to dip it in ranch only because I can tell there was, like, no flavoring on this whatsoever. It just looked really, really plain. And honestly, it was super, super plain. Like, to be honest with you guys, I really can make a better Impossible Burger. Since me and Nate were sharing it, I made him finish it. And he was actually not too excited about that because I was like, I don't want this money to go to waste. So you're going to eat it. And he's like, oh my gosh, this tastes like absolutely nothing. But he did anyways. Lighting is horrible. We are now at Flamingo. We are going to our third destination of the day, which is Gordon Ramsay's Fish and Chips. And by the way, this spot is super expensive, just letting you guys know, but we gotta try it. We've never tried it before and we are doing this celebrities fast food. And I do have to say, we did walk by actually before coming into Flamingo. The line is popping, it looks crazy. They're only open till 10 p.m. So make sure you guys get here early. We're gonna go stand in line, get our food. I'm gonna get shrimp, Nate is getting fish and Let's jump right on into it. By the way, if you're at Flamingo, don't come out here. It smells horrible. So we came back up into the Flamingo to eat. <laughs> you can't get away from the door, right? So yep. Nate got his fish and chips right there. This was $20, $19.99 to be exact. Sauces are an extra 50 cents. We got ourselves though the tartar sauce, a mango sauce, and then the aioli, uh, spice, some sort of spicy aioli sauce. Sriracha, Sriracha aioli. Thank you. So the sauce I have on right now is the Gordon Ramsay sauce, which is the tartar. The, the tartar. So it's just the I house like sauce. tartar. Mmm. You like tartar? Oh, I heard that crisp from here. The crisp sounds great. It is on point. Really? Oh my god. Like the crispiness of the chicken is really. I know. Good. I was telling Nate while we were waiting, the crispiness looks divine. And okay, y'all, um, I know in one of our videos a while back, we mentioned I got back from the UK. These fish and chips got nothing on the UK. They taste, I mean, like, these taste way better. They the look UK. way better. Try the other sauce. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Sriracha aioli is where it's at. Let's try this mango one real quick. Ma oh, mango. You got a, You didn't say you got a mango sauce? Oh, I forgot he did get three sauces. Where's the mango sauce? The mango. Mango is at the top. 10 out of 10 on the mango sauce. I kid you not. Tim will try it right now in a minute. It tastes fire fish and chips man 10 out of 10 i went to england hold on you said fish and chips but you didn't try the chips you only tried the fish oh, you're right hold on let me try the try chips. try try the chips as the people from brit say chips but we call them fries they gotta be crispy though so honestly they don't look good if i'm being honest they don't look good they taste damn good though really yeah I and you tried the, all three sauces i got the dirty fry yes 
by far the best one for me was the mango one. I forgot, it's, it's mango and something. So it's a little sweet and savory, a little bit of spice, but hardly any spice. Wait, what type of fries did you get? It was an extra $3. I got, I got the dirty number three fries, which dirty is- Dirty number three, it's there bacon, you go. bacon and- Cheddar. Cheddar, and these are some sort of aioli on it, but- They look dry though, if I'm being honest. Well, then you gotta get oh, one in, in there. Look at Nate, dipping it low, picking it up slow. Come on, baby girl. Fries are outstanding. They're the right level of crispiness, I tell you that. So I got the shrimp just to switch it up because if I'm being honest, I did want to get that fish. But I was like, let me switch it up, get something different. I do have to say, the batter on these shrimps, do you see this? It looks divine. I'm going to take a dip inside the sriracha aioli. Hopefully it's bomb because honestly, this looks amazing. Ooh, hear that crisp. Honestly, y'all, I feel like this would be the best type of drunk food ever. Mmm. Mmm. Honestly, I do have to say, overpriced. But it's delicious. Divine, you can choose two sauces. I do have to say, I need more than two sauces. If I'm being quite honest with you guys, I need probably about two more sauces because there's still so much fries inside here. The shrimp, I need though, five pieces of shrimp, right? Five shrimps. They're small shrimp. This is mostly batter, but... Mm. No, this is the batter alone, divine. I do have to say, I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. Y'all know I'm stingy with my 10 out of 10, but I do have to say nine out of 10, this is where it's at. This is really good. Honestly, so far, this is my favorite celebrity restaurant. It really is. I would come back here, 100%. Mm. If only you could hear the crunch, bomb. The next day. So it's day three here in Vegas. We were going to go to breakfast because Bobby Flays does have breakfast. But once again, it's only till 11 a.m. and we needed to sleep in today, so we did miss breakfast. So to check off the list, we went to um, Buddy V's Cafe. We went to uh, got is it? I was gonna say guys. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay's Fish and Chips, and then we also went to Wahlburgers. I do have to say Nate is back over here packing up. I do have to say my favorite was Gordon Ramsay's. Oh my gosh, the shrimp was absolutely amazing. I was a little bit tipsy, and then on top of that. Too, it was so loud so we were like trying to find somewhere he to didn't film allow me to even try it yeah i literally didn't let him try my shrimp only because i was like you know what it's just so good the batter on there the crisp it was amazing i do have to say it was not worth the additional three dollars uh, for the fries i just would get the regular fries honestly because i thought it was gonna be like loaded fries you know what i mean and no they just put a little bit of seasoning on top and it honestly wasn't that good um and i still feel like the fries were a little bit dry but the shrimp itself was amazing the sauces were amazing Nate really really love the fish i do have to say though it's super mango overpriced curry sauce. i didn't like the mango curry sauce and nate no loved one the mango but me i loved it i did not like it um i do have to say i am so sorry to the wall family or what, 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 what what's their name mark Wahlberg. Wahlberg. oh duh to the wall family <laughs> I'm yeah. so stupid. Um, wall burgers i'm so sorry their, their burgers are just so plain tastes like nothing i just I was not a fan. I definitely, I actually like Buddy V's better than um, Wahlburger. So next time we're here, we're trying that Buddy V food truck. Yes, next time we're here, we're gonna try the Buddy V's food truck because we really do want to try the Alfredo fries, which I was trying to talk Nate into getting last night, but we were like, mm. we ate a lot. Yeah. Um. Anyways, that is it for this video. Make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up. We would appreciate it, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, Girl Scout.